Good afternoon. Today's been kind of a crazy day. Um, but what day is it? It's crazy. Um, anyways, I had Lex's two month old appointment today. I did wait to do this video until I went to the actual appointment. Since last month, um, we bought a house, like, unexpectedly. We kind of just, it was a really good deal, and it just kind of happened, so. Crazy fast. Were we prepared for it? No. So it's been a little hectic. I feel like it's gonna make this whole holiday season a little hectic. Um, we're trying to do it right. This is, uh, this is a home we can live in for a while. The two big things for me were it's not attached to anybody else. Um, and the fact that it has a yard that we are going to fence in come this spring. Super exciting. It's got fencing on two sides. So we just have to fence like the back and a little bit of the front. So good deal. All right, Lexi. She's weighing in at 10 pounds, 8 ounces. She broke 10 pounds. She's getting a little chub on her. It's so cute. I think chub on the babies is just adorable. So, um, She had her two-month shots at the appointment. Was not happy. I just talked to my mom, who's watching her today, and she is not feeling good at all. She actually conked out after she got the shots, and now she's, like, super fussy, I guess. So struggle bus. I don't know. Anyways, um, you know what? Maybe I should go get the ibuprofen. I'm gonna go get the ibuprofen because now I feel bad. Um, but other than that, she, the doctor said she looked really great. She looked really healthy. Um, I honestly am not near as worried about anything as I was with Silas. I mean, I literally feel like I just did this. Like, did you guys know last year, was Silas's first Christmas and this year's Lexi's first Christmas. There's only a couple of holidays that have done this. I think it's like, I think it's Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas were all Silas's first ones last year. Where uh, Silas has had two Easter's, he's had two Valentine's Day, two New Year's Eve's, two all of that. It's just those particular holidays, how it, how it worked out, um, were his first ones last year. The rest of um, Silas would have had twice before she had it once, I think is how it works. That's how it works. So. Um, yeah, crazy. So yeah, I'm less worried the second time around. She does not spit up as much as Silas. She does spit up. I won't say she doesn't, um, but she is not near as bad as Silas. She's, I feel like they're two totally different babies. She's, Silas was a pretty good sleeper. Um, I wouldn't say he didn't not fuss, but he would go to sleep in between feedings and stuff better I feel like than she does. She likes to eat two ounces, fall asleep, get hungry in like an hour, eat two more ounces, then fall back asleep. Like stuff like that. Or she'll stay awake and then she decides she's fussy. She wants to, you know, just all kinds of crud like that. So, okay, I'm going to pause it real quick while you're with the ibuprofen. I'm back. Got the ibuprofen for Lex. Um, just because if she is really struggling, I, I want them to be able to rotate. She sounded like she was pretty bad, so. I'm thinking maybe she's allergic to some of them. I mean, these are the first time she's had these shots, so. Ugh, feeling bad. Okay, I might write, be also riding the struggle bus tonight, so. We'll see. She did pretty good sleeping last night. There's nights where she gets up every two hours and I want to die. There's sometimes where I'm, she wakes me up from like a deep sleep and it, it literally hurts my brain. Like my brain hurts getting up in between there. So whatever. that's why I drink Red Bull. I know I shouldn't. Oh, and I can tell I'm already getting kind of addicted to it. What else did I want to say? I make notes. Um, yeah, she's not sleeping well, but that's to be expected. She's two months old. She grew out of the newborn clothes. I was looking over the notes that I put in Silas's two month video. She grew out of the newborn clothes. Um, yeah. 
I still wasn't that sad about it. There wasn't any newborn clothes that I was like super in love with that I was like sad she grew out of. Um, Cause again, we didn't, I don't think we spent that much money on the clothes. I don't remember. And if there was like, I kept anything that I thought was really cute. Um, I kept a couple of Silas's newborn clothes. Not that I plan on having another kid. I just couldn't part with them yet. I don't know. Maybe Silas would want him, put his kid in it. I don't know. Um, but, I mean, after you wear the same clothes over and over and over again, it's like, all right, I'm excited to move up to the next size, you know? So, um, and then she's also in size one diapers. She has had a lot, lot more blowouts than Silas, I will say. I think, I don't remember when Silas's first blowout was, but I remember that I was shocked it took him that long to have a blowout. And she has... She's a pooper. That's what we call it. She's already, yeah, it's a good thing. It's just, she's not stopped up. Well, she does, like, she'll go two days, no pooping, and then lets it all fly, so. But, I mean, she hasn't gone enough days where we've, like, gotten concerned, like, super concerned that she hasn't pooped. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, in Silas's two-month video, I talked about how I had acne, um, and I still have acne, now I mean it's not terrible but I don't even have time to care or notice I guess because I have two children jobs stress it's the holiday season I'm and this is so weird this is like the first year I'm like struggling to get excited about the holidays because usually I'm like yeah it's the holidays I'm also turning 31 this year so I don't know I feel like 30 was maybe a little more of an exciting year to turn 30 I don't know I literally didn't do anything for my 30th birthday and since we're we always do expensive stuff in December I don't know the house thing I will say was my mom's idea and um, she was able to kind of help us with it so that's kind of why we're adding this crazy thing into life right now um, but yeah and but okay so I just want to wrap up and say she is so cute we love her um, frustrating yes but she's super cute we love her we can't can't wait to see her grow up some more I'm so excited to do mother-daughter stuff I actually have not been keeping up on the bows like I wanted to my mother-in-law made a comment that she didn't like super huge bows and then now I'm like self-conscious about the bows that I put on her and I'm just like I just need to be like Screw it. I'm putting whatever bow I want to put on her and nobody's going to tell me different. But I thought I would have bought a lot more bows. I did get a bow box subscription. And I kind of, I kind of love it, but I bought her a Thanksgiving outfit and then the Thanksgiving bow came in the bow box. Well, the Thanksgiving outfit was like cream and the bow that came in the box is white. And so it like does not match at all. Now I'm like really sad because I got this adorable Thanksgiving outfit and this bow that I thought was going to match it does not match at all. So she has a white Thanksgiving bib, so probably just have two different outfits. I don't know. Um, I remember Silas's first Thanksgiving, he was eating solid food. Like he was 10 months old at Thanksgiving, so he, we, we were able to give him some. I don't remember what we gave him if he was eating turkey or not. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he was eating solid stuff. For a while, he would only do the purees, and if it was chunkier than a puree, like at first, he didn't even like the purees. That was too chunky. Then he got used to the purees. Then he, you know, we moved up in chunkiness from there, but he was, but at first, when we feed him stuff, he would feed, he would eat whatever we put in front of him. He would eat a ton of whatever we put in front of him, so that was good. Um... It's been fun to compare. They're so different. Um, even Silas had like super long eyelashes. We were talking about this this morning. Silas has super long eyelashes and Lex does not. Yeah. Um, a lot of people say they have the same mouth. I don't know about their eyes. I feel like their eyes are different. I feel like Silas has my eyes, but Lex might have Ryan's. I don't know. It'll be interesting. So. They're cute. I love them. It's so fun being a mom. It's like my top priority right now I just want to make sure that they're loved and cared for and I want to hang out with them and then there's days when I do hang out with them where I'm like okay I'm I'm done give me a break <laughs> but I feel like that's 
anybody thinks that way. So, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go check in on my, just Lexi. Silas is at daycare today. Um, hopefully he's been doing okay. Yeah, the adjust, the sibling adjustment has been going better. Silas wants to be too rough with her yet, but um, she's definitely taken some beatings. Like he like will flop on top of her and all kinds of stuff. Like I'm, and he does it so quickly too. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. So, but she's so cute. I love being a mom. Um, yeah, I'm. It's some days are tough. Some days I feel like I'm failing as a wife, failing as mother, failing as someone who cleans houses. But it all comes together. It all come together. I think we're excited about moving and everything, but the excitedness of that is going to wear off too. But, so we're just trying to set everything up to be good. Um, I know that I know that I can do this, and I can do redemption for anything that I fail at, and keep going. I hope nobody's too mad at me. I hope. The kids, they will be mad at me now, but maybe when they're older they might be mad at me. I don't know. They probably eventually will be mad at me for something stupid. Because I was mad at my mom for dumb stuff. But um, I've always promised to them that I will try. That I'm not going to be perfect. I'm going to mess up. I've already messed up. I'm going to mess up. I've told Ryan this a million times too. I don't know. Same thing with me as a wife. I feel like he wants like a perfect wife or something. I, he knows I'm not perfect. I think he does give me grace, but when I do things that really upset it or really annoy him. We're getting through it. We're making it through. Deep breaths. <sighs> Feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, there's been a lot of crazy things going on in my life. Not so good struggles. But I think everyone goes through this. I think you have to go through this. If life was perfect all the time, um, I'd be scared for what's coming that you know life just can't be perfect all the time if it is so I'll take these little struggles that I have in hopes that this is the worst struggles that I'm gonna have right now and call it good bye